Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and I continue with the Christmas and New Year tutorials. Today I'm gonna be showing you these icy flower earrings. If you wanna see my whole playlist with Christmas and New Year's Eve tutorials, they are here at the eye icon. So if you like what I'm showing you here, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button and in this way you will be notified when I make matching jewelry to the ones that I have already done. And a bracelet matching these earrings is coming up, so be sure to hit the bell if you still haven't. Down there in the description you will find the full list of materials, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel and link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful works that you did following my tutorials. I will be so happy to see your creations. You will also see a link to my second channel with the fast clips that you could also check out. I'm showing really easy and slowly and step by step. So stay with me and I'm sure you're gonna be able to make it those earrings. If you're not sure about something, ask me in the comments. I'll answer to all of you. Now guys, I'm going to start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are these beautiful super duo beads or also called twin beads depending on the manufacturer and here I use 8 o beads in white color and 11 o seed beads in blue and white color. I'm also using these earring findings and here I use monofilament that is 0 0.006 inches, 0 0.15 millimeters. You could use fire line if you want, don't use soft thread for this one. And here I use a size 10 beading needle, scissors. And here these pliers, they are not obligatory, I use them only if I need to go through the difficult beads. Okay, so now I'm going to take about half an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and what I'm going to do is pick up one eight o and one blue 11 o And I'm going to do this five more times. Okay guys, and now double check. I have six white beads and six blue beads. I have 12 beads in total. And what I'm going to do is slide those down. Then I'm going to stick my needle in my mat. And here, what I wanna do is make a knot. And I'm making my knot by making here a loop and going twice through the loop I've made and I pull. And then I'm going to make one more knot. And I'm going to pull again. So I have a circle with, with 12 beads, 6 white and 6 blue beads. And what I'm going to do next is reinforce this circle. Okay, I just went around reinforcing it. Now I have this and what I want to do next is pick up two white 11 O's and I'm going back through this blue one in circle. You see what I do? This is my thread going out of the blue one and I'm going back in circle with these two white beads. Okay, now I have this and now I will go through the next white and through the next blue. And in my next step I'm picking up two white beads, okay. And I'm going back through this blue one as I'm exiting through it, I'm going back through it. And I'm exiting through the following blue. If you can, do this in one movement because you save time. Okay, so now what I want to do is pick up two more white beads, go back here and exit out of the next blue, just like this. And now I'm going to do this three more times. Okay guys, and 
and now I have this and in my next step guys as I'm exiting through this blue one I want to exit through this white bead here okay now I'm exiting through this white and what I want to do is take one a sorry one super dual I'm sliding it down just like this then I'm taking three white beads okay I'm taking three whites and as I'm exiting through one of the super duos hole I'm going through the other super duos hole in this direction okay I'm just zigzagging through this bead and then through this white bead here okay through this white bead and then I pull okay so what I have is this okay then guys what I do is that I go through this blue one here and my goal is to exit through the next white bead here okay this one and now I will take one twin bead or super dual bead and three white beads okay this is what I have I'm sliding all of those down okay and now I'm going through the other empty hole of the same super duo and here through this white one okay and pull then again what I want to do is go through this blue one here and then I go through this white okay I will show you one more time and let you do this by yourself until the end of this row I'm taking one super do then I'm taking three white beads okay slide all of those down and I'm going through this super do and through this white one okay and I pull and then again through the blue one through the white one and the same step and I'm sure if you did it up to here you will be able to do, to do this three more times if you forgot how I'm doing this just rewind the video see what I do here and then I'll be back okay guys and here I'm adding my last super do with the surrounding beads so here this is what I have and I will use this element as the center of a bracelet that I'll show you in my next tutorial okay but with the earrings uh, what I want is like more to be more white to be wider uh, that is why what I want to do next is go here at the edge of my work okay just like this I want to exit through one of those white beads here okay I'm exiting through this one and uh, what I want to do is flip my work because it's easier to go in this direction if it's easier for you in the other direction just do it uh, the way you feel better okay so now what I'm going to do is take five blue beads okay I have my five here and I'm going through the other white bead okay then I go through the super dual by the way you could do this in one movement of course then I go back through this super do and through this white one okay you see what I do then again I will take five eleven o's blue eleven o's I have those five and I'm going through the following blue and through the super do then I go back here in this direction and what I want to do is take five 
k5 I have my 5 and I'm going through the white and through the super duel okay then I go back okay guys and I'm going to do this three more times and I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and I'm here at my last step and I'm exiting here out of this uh, super duel because I just added these blue beads okay and now what I want to do is go in this direction and I want to reach the center of this uh, loop of beads here okay so the, uh, to reach the center I'm going through three seed beads okay now I'm exiting through the central one here I have two and two and this is the central one and what I want to take are three white beads and I'm going back here through this one just like this and I went through the following as well then what I do is that I go here like this then again in this direction and again I find the center by going through three seed beads and here I need three white beads and I'm going back through this one okay I will show you one more time and let you do this by yourself until the end of this row okay now I have this okay do this three more times and meet me here okay guys and I have just added here my last three beads okay so what I want to do next is go here through those two beads in this direction exiting out of the central beat then I will flip my work because it's easier for me if you if it's easier for you in the other direction don't flip okay so now I'm exiting through this white bead that is just beneath this bead that's sticking out the most and I'm going to take three white beads and I'm going here then I take three more white beads and go through this white that is next to the one that's sticking out the most now I have this then through the top and through the following seed bead that goes to the center of my work and take three again three and go here through this one then again three more and go here and then again through those two and I'll show you three more okay guys now do this by yourself until the end and I'll be back to tell you how to attach your earring finding okay guys and here I'm adding my last three beads from this row and what I want to do next is exit here and attach my earring finding and here it is guys and what I do is that I take one seed bead a blue one my earring finding and then I take one more blue bead and then I go back in circle through this white one then I turn it in this direction and what I need to do next is reinforce okay so I'm going twice through these beads here that I have you could do three times if you want
OK. And now, after I made my knot, I went through the following seed bead and now it's time to cut my thread. OK, and now my icy flower earring is ready. OK, guys, so now my icy flower earrings are ready. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell button. And in this way, you will be notified when I make matching jewelry to the ones that I have already done. And a bracelet is coming up soon. That is why it's a good idea to hit that bell. And you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much of a support this is. If you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook or Instagram pages that I posted below this video. Down there in description, you will find the full list of materials, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel and link to my second channel with the fast clips. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.